That's not even a pond over there. That's how much rain and melting we've had in the last few days. Um, it snowed this morning. Hopefully one of the last snows for Maine for the season. But I have to say I'm a little bit jealous of all the 70 degree weather I've seen lately. I am feeling a little cruddy. I have my wisdom teeth out finally um, this past Wednesday. So it's been, uh, this will be my third day. You can tell I'm still swollen on this side. Oh, and it started to bruise, looks beautiful. But um, it was time to do it, so I did it. Um, anyhow, today I'm just gonna be doing some playing with some seeds, and I'm gonna show you what I bought recently. Um, usually I like to go through catalogs, seed catalogs, and pick out all kinds of gorgeous seeds. But um, this year, because I've had a lot going on, and uh, my wisdom teeth are holding me up, and some other um, physical things are happening at the moment that I just went to our local Paris Farmers Union and grabbed a bunch of seeds, um, some of which are heritage seeds. Um, so I'll show you what I, what I got. Well, here is my little grow station in my bedroom and I will link to the video that I showed you before of me setting this up. Um, all I have here is these shop lights, they're not even technically grow lights, but they do an amazing job if you're looking for something a little um, cheaper. This is actually my potato plant that I had shown you guys in another video a while back. And um, unfortunately it's grown in the bag and so I can't cover it with soil anymore. Um, but I, th I think I'll still probably get some potatoes out of it. So I just planted this flat yesterday. This is uh, broccoli and it's old seeds. I just wanted to see if I could get them to um, germinate and they're from last year. And then this bucket here is nice and deep and so I planted some carrots and I think that they'll be able to um, completely root in there. These cups are what I'm going to plant some tomato seeds in today. And as far as the heritage seeds that I picked up, so the first one I got is the yellow pear, which a lot of people um, have talked about in the past. There's not many seeds in here, but really um, I'm going to be doing a lot of tomatoes this year. It's always our favorite. So I just like a lot of variety. So I'm going to do this one today. The other that I'm going to do is an Amish paste, which I've never done any of um, before, but I've heard a lot of people talk about them and how much they love them. Um, I'm assuming they are great for canning Looks like they're great for canning. And we did a lot of canning last year, so I think that these ones will be nice. And then the last Heritage uh, tomato I've got is a Brandywine pink. And I always love Brandywine, so I will plant some of these today too. The other um, tomatoes that I did pick up are just a Burpee Rutgers tomato, a slicing tomato, A celebration tomato and then I have some early spring cucumbers um, last year ours took forever to mature so I'm hoping that this year if I can get some early ones in the ground that'd be great my favorite uh, flowers my favorite annual flowers are zinnias giant zinnias they are amazing they grow really well here in Maine um, I cut them all season long and they just keep producing. If I picked one flower for my garden, it would be a zinnia. Um, and then I like to surround my garden um, with sunflowers. It will bring in the butterflies, which I love to watch. And then I got some bachelor buttons just because I thought the mix was pretty. And of course some peas because that's probably the earliest crop that we'll get. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of these tomatoes planted. So I did pick up a few more here um, that I have forgotten about. Peas, some a different type of broccoli, heirloom variety, and some butter crunch lettuce, which I'm going to start, but I did already start some in my greenhouse that I think I posted to recently. Wanderers this morning came by where do they go graceful in the morning? Okay, so these seeds, I'm putting three in a cup at this point, and then I'll transfer them as they get larger. 
Um, during the day, I don't usually keep the lights on at, um, because there's enough light from the windows that I don't need to have that on. Hi, Violet. <laughs> Um, but then as the day winds down, about 5 o'clock or so in the evening, I turn the light on and then I leave it on till bedtime till about 10 o'clock. So it gets a good, they get a good amount of sun per day. Um, and if you don't have a sunny window, you can use this all the time. But of course, um, you know, it can be kind of expensive because it's electric. Hi. <laughs> Um, and then the other thing I have here that I'm going to try this year, I've never tried before because sometimes my tomatoes do get a little leggy, even though they do really well once I transplant them out. I'm going to use a heat mat this year um, to see if that makes any kind of difference. And so some of them will be on a heat mat and, <clears throat> excuse me, some won't be on a heat mat and we'll see how they do. So one of my goals this year was to have a farm stand. Um, last year we did a little bit of it um, when we had excess produce. We did some farm stand um, activities, but and basically let our kids keep the cash, which was kind of nice. Um, this year I had wanted to do a larger farm stand um, and like make a business of it, um, but as plans change. Um, which they did this year, we, my daughters and I, are actually going to be heading to um, overnight camp uh, at, it's called Camp Arcadia in Maine, and it's just up um, about an hour from here, and I'm going to be the camp nurse, and they get to go to camp for free. So we're probably not going to be doing the farm stand this year, although we're planning to have our garden the same size because... Our garden will be right near the overnight camp. So thumbs up, I can take care of the kids at camp doing my nursing and I can scoot over to our farm, which will be 10 minutes away and take care of our plants. And then when I'm not around, my husband will get to do some. Okay, so this is basically what the heat mat looks like. It appears to be pretty flimsy, um, but I didn't expect much, I guess. Um, and all there is to it is the cord the mat, I'll plug it in and put the seeds on it. Okay. Okay, so I actually read on the package of the zinnias that you can start seeds inside, which I have never done before, and so I'm gonna give it a shot. I usually just plant them outside when the weather is good. Okay, so that's it for today, friends. I feel um, so much better. So getting my hands dirty. Oh yeah, they're filthy. Fingernails dirty. Getting some seeds started and uh, the heat mats going and it's nice and warm. So I will update in a couple weeks as things progress and uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.